All right, today is the day that we get on the boat. The boat. Okay. Come on, light. You can do it. Good morning, everybody. I can't. Yeah. Once we get there, we'll obviously show y'all everything that we're seeing, and we'll do a quick tour of our room. We didn't get anything special. We're not in the room very much, so we got a smaller room. Okay. Bye. Bye. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning Oh my goodness. What the heck? This is so cool. <laughs> This is such a big difference yeah. <laughs> compared to the last one. I feel like I'm on like a, a ship. Well, <laughs> I mean like, it looks like a nightclub. Like the whole, like, I don't, what? This is so cool. I am so amazed right now. Oh my gosh, is that the entrance to the casino? Yep. That's awesome. What the heck? It's really loud in here, so I don't know if you can hear me, but we finally made it on the boat. We're all, we're all eating lunch real quick and waiting for our rooms to open. And then we will get started, and I will show you everything. Okay, bye. Alright, drink one, down. Drink number two. Alright, we found our room. Nice. Thanks. Oh, how nice. This is unbroken. We get to go all the way down. What is it to, to love, to love, to honor the people coming in? Two from the lights, exactly. Oh, all right. That was good. Yeah, I said that was good. <laughs> They're having like a concert up there. All right, it's day two of our cruise. Today is when we're going to Coco Cay in the Bahamas. And we're going to have what we're expecting a full beach day. Dylan and Samantha are going to go enjoy the water park while Colin and I lounge on the beach. This is what I am wearing this far. I have my hair put up because honestly it needs to be washed, but I'm not gonna wash it to go to the beach. And then I'm wearing my cover up with the that blue two-piece that I showed you guys. But super cute. So I feel like I'm dressed up to go to breakfast, but I'm actually ready to go outside. Dylan is wearing his old Navy shirt with his new swim trunks, which I don't know if you guys remember, but we thought we were buying really short ones, and these ended up being way longer and too big. You have to get like five inches. But they still look good, and they're still comfy, so at least they're not too tight, because that would be more these uncomfortable. But we're about to go meet up with Kyle and Samantha and have breakfast. Such a big boat. That's an oasis fast. So I've done a horrible job at vlogging <laughs> yesterday. I literally got us when we got to Coco Cay and did not do anything else the rest of the day. But I'm hoping today is day three of our vacation. It is a full sea day and I feel like we have a lot of things we're gonna do today. So, so hopefully we'll be able to vlog it because I won't have to risk like ocean and dying of heat. When we went to Coco Cay, it was absolutely fun, beautiful. Sam and Dylan did the water park. Cal and I hung out on the beach. It was really nice if you were in the water. Well, I never saw but then a storm it. came, yeah, like scared, like that was like yeah, some loud. Yeah, it was like actual basically. thunder, like get out, like, let's go. I was literally like, <laughs> we, we gotta go, we gotta live. <laughs> we gotta survive. 
I think Dylan and Kyle are gonna boogie board and then we're ice skating. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I don't remember what time it is. But yeah, we're gonna go try to make breakfast. They stop seating at 9.30 and I think it's like 9.25. Yep. And the boys are gonna boogie board. My camera is not focusing at all. We made it. They took us in. We get to have breakfast. All right, cheers to freshly squeezed orange juice. Oh my God. I missed that completely. That was great. Ah. All right, we just finished breakfast and we're gonna go shop while the boys change into their swimsuits for boogie boarding. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning his blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide guys we are about to go to the ice skating she's looking for her yoga pants that she misplaced she thought she got them out but she did not we're about to go ice skating we're gonna have some fun it's gonna be great hopefully we're, I don't fall. she's gonna wipe out a lot and I'm gonna laugh and hopefully catch some point of the belly flop competition they're kind of like at the same time so we're gonna see Kyle and Samantha so we ended up switching Samantha was gonna go skating with me but she decided to go with Kyle to the belly flop competition and Dylan's going with me to the ice skating rink. So, see how it goes. We're the first ones here and we're waiting. We still have 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Since we had like the key access, there was hardly anyone out there on the ice. And, and maybe then, like a dozen people. I don't even know if that many, honestly. Probably. At the very end, some people came in. Yeah. But majority of the time, we had it to ourselves. But it was really nice. Everyone else flooded in after for the regulars. But we didn't get to have our cameras or anything out on the ice. So we only got like one or two clips. Wasn't able to get anything of Dylan because I, he got out and I didn't, I didn't know the camera rule. But we did get a picture together, so that's nice. Yep. But we're on our way back to the dining room to get some lunch and meet up with Kyle and Samantha. Yeah, I can carry all that you've got to every heart is not alive. I will put out all of the fire. We stumble and fall. We just finished our first game of King's Cup in the casino. All right, we'll get ready for dinner. It's formal night.
know I've been completely MIA basically the past few days. I'm so tired. We have basically been on the go nonstop. We had two port days back to back, which we got a lot of footage on Dylan's GoPro. So I will be putting all that in if I haven't shown you already, but we went to Jamaica and we went to the Duns waterfall and hiked, it, hiked up the waterfall. And then we did a, um, like a blue hole lagoon, which we were really surprised at. We thought it was gonna be more of a lounging area and it was not, it was way more um, strenuous than we expected, but we, I conquered a fear. I jumped, I jumped off of a cliff. How high do you think that top one was? Yeah, it was- 20 feet. It was pretty tall, but I did it and I have clips. I think they're off of a phone, so they're not gonna be like perfectly fit, but I will put that there. And that's what we did all day in Jamaica. And then yesterday we were in Haiti and we went and did some painting. I'll show you. And we picked these pots that were handmade by Islanders and Dylan made this one for our anniversary. It has our hand prints on the back. And then I made this one. It just says Haiti. But I think that's a really cool, I don't know. I really liked it. I think you were surprised, like you kind of enjoyed it more than I did. I don't know, we were so tired yesterday. We got back, we showered, we basically got ready for dinner, and then I like, we did the jet skis. I thought I already talked about it. Correction, after we did painting, we went and rode jet skis, which was terrifying. I've ridden jet skis. I've never been on one, and it was completely different than what I expected. Not that it was hard to drive, but it was like a guided tour. And so the guy went really fast. And I mean, I was in the back with Sam, so it was nice that we weren't holding anybody up, but it was so hard being the first time on a jet ski and having to keep up with like a full speed zigzagging through the ocean over waves, over coral reefs. And they're even like, don't get off the path because if you get off the path, like you can get injured, which makes you freak out even more. But by the end of like the like second to last round, I finally got the hang of it and it was fun. But I was like almost at a point where I was gonna call the guy over to like get me off because it was freaking me out so much. Just catching so much air terrified me. But that was the one thing that Dylan really wanted to do and he enjoyed it. He did good. He was up at the front. But yeah, then we came home or we got back, showered, ate dinner and I was pretty much done for the night. I felt so sick last night. So I don't know if it was from the heat and the eating so much, I don't know. But today is our last day on the boat, our last sea day. We are here all day long. We're not getting off. We're just straight shot back to Florida. We're going through the itinerary and trying to figure out something to do. But first, we're gonna go get breakfast. <laughs> at the sushi place we're tired. for our anniversary. Yep, we're exhausted. I didn't schedule it early enough and so we have to settle on lunch. <laughs> Instead of dinner. So I can't figure out how to use chopsticks. I have to have a guide. <laughs> I can't even use them with a guide. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan tried telling me like 50 times and I just ended up getting mad because I couldn't figure it out. So the waiter brought me helper. Cut it. It's ice cream, isn't it? No. We're gonna We're gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay you guys obviously um i ended filming abruptly um on the cruise so literally the last thing you saw was when we were having our anniversary lunch on our last day 
and then we just went to a show and hung out with Kyle and Samantha and just really took advantage of our last few hours on the boat and our last night so I didn't film anything else and then the whole next day was filled with literally traveling constantly to get back home um, so I never picked up my camera. I was so exhausted. We had such a long trip, but it was absolutely so much fun. If you are ever on the fence about going on a cruise, I highly recommend it. Um, it's just, it's a ton of fun. So many things you can do and so many things that are included with the trip itself. Like you don't even have to go on these crazy excursions. You can do stuff on the boat and have a blast. But anyway, that is going to be it for my vacation vlog for 2022. I am so glad you guys stopped by. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you made it all the way through this video and leave a comment down below if you've been on a cruise and where you've gone. I would love to know where you've traveled to. But anyway, I will see you guys again on Sunday for a whole house clean with me. So I will see you guys there. Bye! Bye!